evade drop lines. Remember. Tom Cruise is lost in space again. That's the edge of tomorrow. We're USA Today. I'm Scott Bowles, and this is the Screening Room. And I'm Claudia Puig, film critic for USA Today. So, Tom Cruise in sort of semi-hero mode, <laughs> um, not so heroic in the very beginning. Yep. Kind of a kind of a uncourageous, not very brave, almost cowardly guy. I like that he kind of ceded some ground to Emily Blunt and yes. allowed her to be an action hero mm -hmm. here. And I thought she did great. Mm -hmm. um, in you know, kind of, we were talking before about this Jennifer Lawrence kind of style. She can right. she can do anything. She can do romantic comedy. She can do drama. She can do this. She was buff. I mean, he was good. Mm -hmm. And the premise of it, which is Groundhog Day kind of meets Independence Day, War of the Worlds, right. worked for me up to a certain point. And then I found it getting a little bit tedious and repetitive. What'd you think? You know, I really enjoyed this film. I'm a big fan of Doug Liman. Me I too. really liked Go. I really like his action films in particular. Yes. I think what I liked about this was there was a sense of humor. Yes. Tom Cruise, we're not giving anything away. He has to die over and over, and he dies too often. But, <laughs> but there's, Can you die too often? <laughs> but there's something almost fun about watching a big screen guy bite the dust, and then there's some humor in it. Every time he comes back, there's a little bit of humor in right. it. Right. And what I liked about the movie was what it didn't do. Big movies hit lately, I think, kind of proselytize. They talk about an invasion of privacy, killing the planet. This is an action film. It's an original action film. It doesn't apologize for being an action film. That's right. Yes. So for me, it, it clipped along. It went a little too long, I thought. It got a little slow in the second half, but boy. I work. This worked for me. I could have used a little more character development, and I thought the aliens is they were interesting the way they were scuttling and sort of spidery, octopus-like. <laughs> However, I felt like there was very little delineation between them. I could have used a little bit more development on the part of yes. those guys. Yes. But if, I, you know, I'm giving it kind of a catch minus because I think you need to see it on a big screen. <laughs> I'm going to give it a full catch. This worked for me. <laughs> okay. And that's it for us this week. Join us for our discussion of The Fault in Our Stars. In the meantime, have a great weekend, and don't forget to see a movie.